By the way, this viewport is our window towards the model space. Okay? So if we double click within the uh, viewport, so double click, it highlights or it thickens. Okay? So the viewport thickens, and you notice our cursor was clipped. And this is very important to notice that you are within model space because you could change the scale of the drawing within the viewport just by using the scroll wheel of your mouse. Okay, So when you scroll down, scroll up, it changes the scale of the viewport. So uh, take extra uh, caution when entering the floating model space here on the paper space. So, to exit from a model space, we double click outside. Okay? Or either in the paper, but I suggest rather outside of the paper. So, double click because there are instances that the viewport lines are uh, hidden. And you might accidentally again click on that viewport and then recalibrate the assigned scale for that viewport so i suggest you double click outside or the best thing to use is either use the uh, keyboard shortcut now uh, a while ago we double click inside okay to uh, get inside the uh, floating uh, model space and we double click again outside to go to paper space so when we are in paper space, when I scroll down and scroll up, so what we are uh, zooming in and zooming out is the paper itself. Oh, by the way, when we double click inside the viewport, we are not zooming, okay? We are literally scaling the drawing inside the viewport. So you may notice here that the value for the scale changes when you zoom in and zoom out inside of this viewport okay so again take extra caution when you are inside of the floating model space now uh, instead of double clicking outside the paper space to get out from the uh, floating model space we type ps okay so type ps and there you are outside of a uh, model space and similarly, we could click this one and then type MS to go inside the model space, okay? So, find your most uh, comfortable uh, procedure in entering and exiting uh, paper space and model space here in the layout tab. So, uh, I interchange them uh, sometimes. I do double click and or I do uh, typing them on the keyboards. So, PS to go to paper space and MS to go inside the viewports, okay? So, I just double click to get outside of the viewport. So, it's safe. And again, you might remember that I urge you to change the size of our cursor all towards the 100% view of the cursor okay so when you notice you know now that you are inside the paper space so take extra caution because your cursor is clipped so that's another visual cue to warn you that you are in uh, side model space in your layout tab so once i click on or double click outside the paper then there is the cursor occupying the 100 percent of our screen So similar with the model space, we could use the uh, different functions of your mouse to pan. So press and hold your scroll wheel. Zoom in, zoom out for your scroll wheel. And you can always draw also here on paper space. So we normally delete this first. So select on the viewport and then uh, either type E to erase it or hit your delete keys. So... We are now 
So, we only have the paper itself on our layout tab. So, what I want you to do is to insert our title block here on the layout tab. So, let's go to model space. Let's click on model space. Let's select our title block. Okay? Excluding the... Uh, outline of our paper so select everything except the paper then let's use the windows key of uh, copying them so control c and then click on a3 sheet control v to paste okay and specify insertion point of course we know it's in 10 comma 10 so enter so, it uh, used the edge of the paper as the uh, origin. I mean the corner of the paper as the origin for our uh, title block. So, we have inserted now here our drawing. And let's try to plot, okay? So, right click on the layout. And then click on plot, okay? And then just click on preview. This was already set, okay? So, let's uh, click on preview. And there, you could see our title block properly having the appropriate line types as we have assigned on our CTB plot style. And we could uh, save this one. So, just cancel. We could save this one file. Save as. You could save this as a template. Okay? So, you could save this as a template. Uh, but for now, we will not be doing it. But on your spare time, I suggest you create already templates for your different title blocks. Especially in your practice. Again, to simplify things. So, just cancel for the meantime. Uh, that's one way of inserting a title block on our paper space we can also use the design center if we have converted this one into a block and we shall be uh, discussing about that in the finals or in the uh, succeeding tutorials uh, for the meantime we'll just focus first on plotting and uh, paper space